two angles are said to be complementary if their sum is 90 degrees. So if two angles are complementary, when we put the two angles together, they would form a right angle or a 90 degree angle. So this angle and this angle are complementary angles. Suppose you have two complementary angles such that the second angle is six more than two times the measure of the first angle. We're asked to find the measure of the angles. So because we don't know the measure of the first angle, let's let the first angle be equal to x degrees. And now we need an expression for the second angle, given we know the second angle is six more than two times the measure of the first angle. So the expression would be six more than two times x. Well, two x would be two times x, and six more than two times x would be two x plus six. So the second angle has a measure of 2x plus 6 degrees. Again, this angle is 6 more than 2 times the measure of the first angle. Looking at our diagram, let's measure this angle x degrees and this angle the quantity 2x plus 6 degrees. Because the two angles are complementary, we can now form an equation, solve for x, then determine the measure of both angles. When writing the equation, though, we'll leave the units off, so the equation would be x plus 2x plus 6 equals 90. Again, we know the sum of these expressions must be equal to 90 because the two angles are complementary. And now we'll solve for x. For the first step, we'll combine the like terms on the left side of the equation. x plus 2x, or 1x plus 2x equals 3x. So we have 3x plus 6 equals 90. Next step, we isolate the variable term by undoing the plus 6 and therefore we subtract 6 on both sides. Simplifying, subtracting 6 undoes plus 6, or 6 minus 6 is 0. So we have 3x equals 90 minus 6 equals 84. 3x means 3 times x. To undo this multiplication, we divide both sides by 3. Dividing by 3 undoes multiplying by 3, where 3 divided by 3 is 1, 1 times x is x x equals 84 divided by 3, which equals 28. So because we now know x must equal 28, we can determine the measure of both angles. Because x equals 28, we know the measure of the first angle is 28 degrees, and the second angle would have a measure of 2 times 28 plus 6 degrees. Well, 2 times 28 is equal to 56. 56 plus 6 equals 62. The second angle measures 62 degrees. Notice how 28 degrees plus 62 degrees does equal 90 degrees. And just be careful on the homework. The units of degrees is already provided, so we only enter 28 and 62. I hope you found this helpful.